Hi everyone, it's Said here. Welcome to Brazilian Food. Today I would like to wish you all a Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year as well. So today's uh, project guys, um, I got here some lamb shank. I'm gonna make roasted lamb shank curry or puna you can say. Um, I got here four lamb shank pieces. It's a very popular um, recipe guys but some people they, they don't uh, roast it before they make the curry some people just make it make it straight away uh, they, they, they use pressure cooker to get tenderized uh, shank so I go here you know, so. Uh, one one and a half kilo, a bit more than one and a half kilo. This, well, I guess. So before I add all the spices uh, into them for the marination, um, I'm gonna skewer these uh, shank pieces with the with the fork, or you can use a knife as well, just to make sure all the spice and flavors goes inside. And also, guys, um, before I, I mean, what before I washed it, I removed the extra fat from the shank. Right, guys. Now I'm gonna add the spice. Uh, first, I'm going to add garlic ginger paste, two table, uh, three tablespoon, and salt. I'm going to add one teaspoon salt and then dry spices i'm going to use uh, paprika powder one teaspoon this i'm using is only half teaspoon sorry i and also salt i'm going to add a half more so it's going to be one teaspoon and curry masala powder one teaspoon and cumin powder one teaspoon and coriander powder one teaspoon as well and turmeric powder I'm gonna use half teaspoon and also uh, dry oregano I'm gonna use um, about half tablespoon Crushed black paper, I'm going to use about half a tablespoon. And Kashmiri paste, Kashmiri paste, uh, I'm going to use about one, two teaspoon. And Tikka paste, about two teaspoon, guys. And also, um, I'm going to add mustard oil. But if you have any medical condition, guys, uh, don't use the mustard oil. Uh, you can use any other cooking oil, guys. It's up to you. About uh, three teaspoon. And also, um, I'm going to add some kasuri methi leaves, dry kasuri methi leaves. About two pinch. And I'm using here uh, rosemary. Guys, if you don't have rosemary, you can just skip it. Or if you have the dried one, you can use the dried one as well. By the end, I'm gonna add yogurt. Yogurt about three tablespoon. Then I'm gonna mix all. Right, um, one thing, lemon juice. Right guys, um, lemon juice, I prefer fresh lemon or lime. But I don't have uh, fresh lemon today. So I've got lemon juice here. You can eat, I'm gonna use this. So I'm gonna use about Now I'm gonna add the lamb shots pieces.
Then I'm gonna rest, I'm gonna marinate it for about three hours. So you can do uh, overnight marination as well, it's up to you how long you're gonna marinate for. So that's it, that's the first step, guys. Uh, then we're gonna cook it on the oven. When guys, I'll be back. Right, guys, I'm back after four hours. Um, I marinated this uh, lamb shanks for four hours, guys. Now I'm going to cook it into the oven. I got here some melted butter, so I'm gonna brush it on into the tray. Also, guys, I'm gonna sprinkle some dried oregano and some rosemary. Then I'm gonna place this lamb shanks. Right, and also I'm gonna put some onions into the middle. Now I'm gonna drizzle some but what melted butter to make it crispy that and juicy as well. But if you don't like to add butter guys you can add margarine or you can add oil as well. That's it. Close it. I'm gonna put it into the oven now. Alright, guys, now I'm going to go for the next step to make the sauce for the lamb shank. It's actually frying oil, you know, the when I make the barista or fried onion. Um, I keep this oil, then I can use it later, but you can use normal oil guys, it's up to you, um, that's totally optional. I'm adding some whole gram masala, right I'm gonna add uh, garlic ginger paste, I've got video recipe on my channel, so have a look. I'm gonna add 2 tablespoons. Now I'm going to add some onion guys, sliced onion. I've got here about 370 grams. I'm going to add the salt. The salt I'm going to add half tablespoon. I'm gonna let it cook until the onion is softened guys and if you if you see it's too dry just add some water uh, but first I'm going to let it cook on medium heat to get down and soften then if I need to add water I'm gonna add water later right guys let's check you have to stir it occasionally otherwise uh, the onion is gonna burn as you can see, uh, my onions are caramelizing. So now I can add some water. I'll actually add one cup of water. Alright, guys, let's check. Now that my onion has softened, so I can put the spices now, but I'm gonna keep it aside um, because the shank is not done yet, it's not cooked yet, so I'm gonna have a look my lamb shank, then I will put the spices.
Oh, 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 that's looking good. As that is looking brilliant. Now, you know, the gravy you can see, I'm gonna use it for for the um, for the curry sauce. I'm gonna pretty later. So let's check us if it's cooked or not. Let's, let's check. It's not cooked yet, guys. Prop, and you'll have to wait. You can see. Let it cook for more about half an hour, guys. Probably. Then hopefully we can. Right, guys. Uh, now my shank is almost ready. Lamb shank. I'm going to add the spices now. As you can see guys, I uh, added one cup of water, uh, then my onion is softened now and also the water is dried out as well. So I can add the toma tomato puree. So guys, uh, for the tomato puree, I will say you can add fresh tomato blend it, uh, three or four tomatoes. Just blend it and you can add the, I mean, you can add the tomato paste or you can add the tomato puree as well. I'm gonna use uh, tomato puree, about less than about 50 ml, guys. Uh, less than one quarter cup, or tablespoon could be uh, two tablespoon or two and a half tablespoon, probably. Spray the tomato puree, guys. Uh, let it cook for about uh, about a minute. Then we can add the rest after the spices. Right now, now I can add the spice. Spice, guys, I'm going to use mixed curry powder. I got video recipe on my channel. Uh, this mixed curry powder, guys, included uh, turmeric powder, cumin powder, coriander powder, garam masala powder, and some paprika. I'm gonna add uh, one tablespoon. So I'm here using half tablespoon, one tablespoon of mixed curry powder and chili powder. I'm gonna add one and a half tablespoon and garam masala, guys. Garam masala. If you have a um, blender, you can roast some uh, coriander seeds, cumin seeds, and bay leaf and cinnamon stick and cloves and and uh, stearic acids and also uh, mustard seeds. Roast some and just blend it and add it. But I don't have the blender, guys, the small blender, so I can't do that. So I'm gonna, I'm, I'm using the, the shop one, the Eastern brand, which is fine. I use, I use this as well all the time, so it's not bad. But if you, add, if you can add this, the, the caramel I said, um, it'll be, it'll be more texture and more flavor, guys, more flavorful the curry. And I'm going to add some kasuri methi as well. Guys, I'm making this uh, recipe, I mean like Indian restaurant style. Now if you want to add some naga pickle, you can add some naga pickle as well. And also if you want the salt gravy as, a, I mean, bindalu strength or madras strength, you can add more, more uh, chili powder if you want. And if you don't like spicy guys, what you can do because as you can, as you saw um, on my lamb shank or when I was roasting it, uh, marinating it, so I didn't add any chili powder. I just added paprika powder. What you can do if you don't like spicy, uh, you can just normal uh, roast it without any any uh, chili powder or paprika. You can add paprika. Paprika has no strength. It's not spicy, so just for the color. And when you make the sauce, the gravy, uh, just 
add a little bit of chili powder it does give nice flavor to the curry guys it doesn't taste blend so I will recommend you just add at least one teaspoon or half teaspoon well, I'm adding some green chili right guys I'm going to add a little bit of water about one cup and I'll put it on the high heat and also I'm gonna check the lamb shank right guys my lamb shank is ready you can see and also the gravy is fantastic guys I'm gonna add it to the curry and look at that it's all cooked right guys I'm going to add a little bit of yogurt and look at the color guys it's beautiful that is absolutely gorgeous and I'm going to add what Mm, two, actually three tablespoons of yogurt. Also, I'm going to add some uh, butter ghee. About one tablespoon. Sauce is almost ready, guys. Now I'm going to add uh, the shank. Now I'm going to remove the onion and add the sauce. First, uh, let me add, let me uh, mix it, guys. Well, guys, now I'm going to add the sauce. There's what I have to do here. Um, we're gonna let it cook on low heat, close the lid until the sauce and the juice goes inside the inside the chunk right guys I'm going to check it now and I think the meat need to be more softened so I'm going to add actually some water I'm uh, adding hot boiled water, guys. Right now, I'm going to let it cook on low medium heat because they are big pieces, the shank taking a bit of time. I'll be back. That's it guys, my lamb shank buna is done, roasted lamb shank buna. And thank you very much guys, thanks for watching. Uh, but before I go guys, uh, let me check, let me show you the meat has tenderized or not. Just let me just quickly show you. As you can see guys, look at that. It's coming off from the bone. Look at that soft and really nice flavor guys the flavor is beautiful let me try that mm. beautiful guys that's beautiful i'll see you guys thank you very much thanks for watching please like comment and share also please don't forget to subscribe our channel that's it for today guys thank you very much hope to see you soon bye bye